Jogan Chowdhury was born February 16, 1939. He is an eminent Indian painter and considered an important painter of 21st century India. He lives and works in Santina Keaton. He graduated from the Government College of Art and Craft, Kolkata and subsequently at École Nationale Supérieure des Beaux Arts, Paris in 1967. He has immense contribution in inspiring young artists of India. Jogan Chowdhury had developed his individual style after his return from Paris. His most famous paintings are in ink, watercolor and pastel. He has painted in oil medium as well. Lines and its tactile characteristic to enhance colors is an important material in Indian art for ages. Jogan Chowdhury himself is a master of lines and he is mastered to make the curves depict the character of his figures. By careful distortion of the form he imparts the air of caricature in his figures, figures of men and women. The figure is always the most important and conveys all the artist has to express. Color, he uses though, is to provide matter into the form. Arshiva Kumar has lucidly described Jogan's works in the following excerpt, the pulse and rhythm of Jogan Chowdhury's art comes from a filial affinity to nature and milieu. In Chowdhury's more recent works the sensory experiences of cloth, bolsters, sofas and the human body are cross-projected to produce an uncanny world of transubstantiated tumescence and flaccidness. Mnemic displacements and personal associations add to the symbolic ambivalence of his motifs, making his images come closer to inexplicable experiences than to explicit signs. In the postures of some figures we feel an animal sentience, in the ripe anatomy of others we savor a fruity succulence. The figures are wrought by a combination of decorative willfulness and expressive distortion and are imbued with an effusive sensuality. Chowdhury's art is rich in suggestions. It is to be apprehended without bracketing our fund of knowledge, experience or memories, but also cannot be narrativized without trivializing it, without depleting its sensory particularities.